Ladies and gentlemen, spam some coca love or thumbs up or whatever you want. If you're ready to go, raid some military checkpoints in Project Zomboid. Alright boys, let's do this. Let's get back into Project Zomboid and let's have uh, let's have some fun with the good old good old Zomboid. There we go. There we go. We're in. How's it going, my friends? Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Ah, how long have we survived last time around? Almost 10 days. You love to see it. It's very early in the morning. We got we got stuff and things. We got a uh, crowbar. We got an extra shovel. We got this buckmark pistol that is pretty crap. And yeah, that's about it. That's about all we have. Do we have any food? We have a soup with tomato paste. Yes, that's it's very good. We lost some weight so far, but nothing too major. So there is that. Let's uh, let's go on a grand adventure today. I wanted to go. And I wanted to raid a military base, you know, and you guys are gonna help me doing that because last time What we did is we worked on our mechanic skill. We got our mechanic skill up to uh, Let's see to level two and We already had electrical at level one which allowed us to get a car You love to see it and this this is the good boy. We got and we, we do have two cars in here as well there you go. We have these two cars over here. Now, the question is, how much can this one carry in the back? A hundred. That's actually pretty good. Because I do want to go to the military checkpoint, but I'm not sure how much we can bring back, how much we will not bring back. It's gonna be... it's gonna be an adventure. Why is the car not starting, though? Okay. I mean, it's not the best car, but it's definitely better than whatever we had so far. And if by any point we get a better one, well, that'd be great. That'd be that'd be awesome. I do have some mods that add new cool cars. Like this one is added from mods. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try finding one maybe. But for now, this one is gonna do just nicely. Like hundred in the back is huge. <laughs> it's been a while. Hello there, Alex. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. My dude is panicking, but let's not panic, shall we? We're not gonna stop for these zombies over here. There's really no need. These zombies are chill and fine. The, the thing that I don't like is that it's starting to get a bit foggy. Not the biggest fan of that, I gotta admit. How is life, Alexander? How, how is life these days? Hope it's treating you well, man. Alright, eating the soup. Don't eat the whole soup. Eating the whole soup would be too much. And we're gonna take this road over here. Uh, we're just gonna take side roads. Oh shit, did I take Sledgehammer with me? I did not take Sledgehammer. Well, we're going back. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, the adventure is on pause. Because I forgot the freaking Sledgehammer. I thought I had it in my backpack. I thought wrong. I thought wrong. Let's go back home. Let's let's, let's get the sledgehammer. Because without a sledgehammer, it's not gonna really be possible getting through there. 
Zombies that really want to not hit you, but you're like in my way, so... Please, get out of my way. Business as usual, that's good to hear. Oh uh, yeah, good, good shit, man. Happy, happy birthday. I already said happy birthday to you. Like, you have the, the same birthday as me, right? Like, what's, what's the, what are the chances? What are the odds? I hope you had fun, buddy. Also, did you get something cool for your birthday? Did you, did you get something cool? Alright, let's... Let's find the sledgehammer. I don't remember exactly where it is. I think it's upstairs, though. Well, that was, uh, like, two in-game hours wasted already. Really good start. Really good start. Yeah, there's our sledgy. Let's grab it back. Alright. Yeah, dude. I want to see that. Alright, we have... We have some zombies down there that hurt me. It's fine. Sometimes a man's gotta do what a man does. And that is, hit some zombies. Make them fall to the ground. Crush their skulls. Like, this isn't too bad. Like, we, we got a uh, two hours late start, right? Just just two hours wasted. Nothing too bad. It's still seven in the morning. Or it's gonna be half, it's half past seven now. I think that's still a good start to the whole day. Still got plenty of time to get where we want it to be. This fog is... I don't like this fog, though. <laughs> Because it's making it harder to drive. <laughs> Hello, Edwards. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this fog is not helping anybody. Not at all. Makes me want... Uh, makes me wish that I installed that mod that Cry suggested. Which basically makes the... Why the fuck is that there? Come on. It makes the zombies <laughs> not see as well in fog and dark. But I think I'm gonna save that one for like a stealthy series or something like that. Might uh, might make a bit more sense. Finally the start of the stream. Hello, Stig, how's it going? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, this is, this is the beginning. I totally didn't make half of this drive already and then I remember that I forgot a sledgehammer and I had to go back for it. Totally not. Ooh, let's not go too far. See, this is why the fog is... The problem. God damn it. You can't see shit. Ah! I'm gonna wreck my car. Like this. Don't want to do that at all. This is like a... This is like a marketplace, isn't it? Or something like that. Like, where people would come get their... Uh, groceries. From farmers. At least I think so. It's hard to fucking see anything. <laughs> Ugh, get out of my way! It's gonna ruin my car completely. But these, like, this is why we're taking the side roads! Fuck. Cause, <laughs> cause it should be a bit cleaner. Uh, country store, yeah, or like a farmer's market. Whatever we want to name it. Something like that. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. This is where we need to go. This is where we need to go. Maybe I'll take uh, on my way back. I might grab some generators. I'll see. Oh, there's some zombies down here. But I think. Oh, uh, okay. We'll probably have to fight this group because uh, there's gonna be a door here very soon. Also that. I'm gonna have to go out to open the door. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, that's what this deal with fog. It seems unreasonably long. Yeah, you know, sometimes days are foggy. It's how it is. Just how it is, you know. Days just be foggy. What is... Is that a wrench in you, dude? It's a throwing knife. Interesting. I'll take that. 
Alright, I'll, I'll open this door. So let's get... Let's get onwards to glory before these guys reach me. Which just means we're gonna break our car on them. As we go. Now, there's a good chance there's gonna be some wrecks on this road as well. Just gonna make our travels a bit... A bit unfortunate. But since this is not like six months later, at least uh, when this goes off-road, it's not gonna be like overgrown. So that's gonna be good. Your mom bought fried chicken for dinner. Hey, good for you. Very good for you. I just had some asparagus with eggs and uh, cheese and bread. And see, this is what I've been I've been talking about. This is uh, this is a problem. Can I squeeze by? Man, this is <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I could what I could do is destroy these, give me a bit more space. Crunchy pork, crunchy pork sounds good as well. Yeah. Also, crunchy pork could be like a a good name for a restaurant. Crunchy pork. Come to Crunchy Pork, where all of our pork is crunchy. Sometimes also crispy. You never know what you're gonna get. And that's why you love us. Crunchy Pork. Only $4.99 on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Because it's happy hour somewhere. I don't know. Maybe uh, if, you, if you do open Crunchy Pork, uh, you can hire me to do uh, advertisement for you. You know? Very good in that. <laughs> Alright, that was easy. Good boy Sledgehammer, winning the day. Some good roasted skin on top of it. But do you actually eat the skin? The piggy skin? Because, uh... I can't really say I, 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 would, I would really eat the skin, right? Oh, look, Crunchy Pork is not going to be a fancy restaurant, right? It's, it's a restaurant, it's not a fancy one. But it's a restaurant. Hello, friends. How do you do? So, the road goes this way. And if we were, like, six months later, this would be completely overgrown. So, we would have to go there. So, we would need a sledgehammer. But uh, we, can just, we can just go over here. We're going to get to a small settlement. Now, since you guys tell me uh, what I should be doing... Should we stop here and loot this settlement? It's very small, there's a couple of houses. But there can be guns and such because this is military stuff. Or do we go straight for... Do we go straight for the military checkpoint? Oh, you eat the skin as well when you barbecue with it. Alright, fair enough. Nice and crusty. Mm. You just need to hope that uh, whoever butchered that pig can uh, actually clean it up proper. You know? Oh, fuck. Oh, we can go through. Yeah, yeah, this is easy. Easy money. Eee. These guys are all fine. I have eaten the skin as kind of a dried one that you eat with noodles. Very crunchy. I... I am... I don't know. I, I do not know that thing. But, uh, hey. More power to you, buddy. More power to you. Like, if it's good, hey, it's good. Alright, we could also break through here, but we can go for a safer route down this way. Because there's no trees here yet. My dude is in pain because of sun, but if he can actually see any sun out here, that's really amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna go all the way down. I'm not gonna go through here, I think. You trust your butcher? Alright. Good good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, for multiplayer, Pango. Uh, quality of life stuff. Like, um... I like the weapon damage indicator or whatever it's called. The one that shows you, like, how much... Uh, how much life a weapon still has on it. Like this, like, green outline over here. Stuff like that. I do love, like, stuff like that. It's very, it's very useful. And it also shows you how much ammo you have. Like, in a weapon. 
Like if I put out, pull out my pistol, you can see I have, this is the ammo I have right now. 10 in a magazine, 73 in total. So yeah, that's useful. They're like just two of you guys. Okay. No, yeah, there's three of them. And there's gonna be a couple more coming soon, and that's fine. Uh, this was to be expected. But once we deal with these boys, we should be good. We should be just fine. There you go. Crunch these fools and we're good. So yeah, that's definitely one. Um, the other one is better flashlights. Basically, as you can see on uh, here, I have a flashlight or I have a hand torch, right? You can put it here and then just press number three because I have it on three and it, you know, you can use the the light like that. It's it's on your belt. I really do like that. Butchers have a bad rap because of the murder case and those horror games about them. A murder case? Where 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 do you live? <laughs> the butchers are also actually murderers. I, I thought that only happens like USA. All right, I don't want to drive my car in here to be honest because that's gonna attract. Too much unwanted attention, I think. I think that's not for the best. So we're gonna go a bit more sneaky beaky like. What our crowbar. Very sneaky. Nobody can hear that. There you go. No, don't get tired already, dude. You starting to get tired? Like we barely started swinging this thing jesus oh man sprouts farm and garden mod is nice i did, i i'm not aware of that one what does it do oh uh, yeah in your country they don't have that rep yeah that's that's good to hear ah uh, it's good to know and this is this fog is benefiting zombies more than it's benefiting me because i can't see shit they can see shit. You know what? Screw it. I'm going with a car. I'm not walking through all this. I'm taking the car out. Many new foods and veggies. Okay. That sounds like fun. Foods and veggies sounds good. Yeah, let's, let's take the car. We're gonna go all the way down. If I stay like in the back side over here... I think I can, you know, kind of stay quiet. Like, exploring these tents would be fun. But, like, down here, this is where the main thing happens. And you know what? Pretty clear out here. I like it. Box of screws. Fertilizer. Screw you. Hunter boots with a combat knife? Interesting. I'm not going to wear that, though. We already have aviators. Don't need that. Man needs to smoke. Let's go. Alright, your protectors we don't need. There's an extra uh, hand torch and military flashlight that we can use. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab the the batteries from them. So we're gonna need those. And there's another one here. Wait, what did I miss? Gives you the ability to raise cattle and does better in terms of farming. Oh. So this is a, this is a mod that makes the build 42 already playable, huh? Nice. I have bananas and apples. Sweet. Hey, Pancake, how's it going? Good loot? Not yet, but hopefully. Uh, there's a steel helmet. Amazing. We're not taking it. Grenade? Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> we got a grenade! Let's fucking go! Alright, alright, don't mind if I do. Uh I wanna I wanna like get rid of this this crap over here. Excuse me. Uh I need to I need to get closer. There you go, that's the spirit. I need to... Can we move this one? 
Hello, Betrayed. How's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Alright, let's see what we have up here. Some more combat pants. Scrap electronics. So, hey, there you go. Box of shoddies. Shotgun shells. Nice, nice. Sweet. Smoking stuff is a lot better. Good. So, like, in, in what way, though, is smoking stuff better? Be careful with that gunpowder? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be careful. I'm always careful. Unless when I'm not. Hello, Marka. I rarely use guns in PC. I'm the type of player that uses, like, 10 tries to clear a place out. Hey, dude, if you want to play it careful, that's completely fine. You know, everyone plays the way they want to play. But, uh... I do like guns. Guns are great. Guns can be very awesome. But if they don't suit you, hey, that's fine. You know? Alright, I think a lot of zombies just heard me. That's fine, we can kite them back here. Take your time, Zeds. Let me, uh, let me destroy this door. Let's hope there's nobody in here. That would be slightly unfortunate. Nope. Alright. Oh, look at that military dude. Let's go, boys. It's a police officer as well. Alright. Is those guys dead? Guns are great. Gag. <laughs> you gonna gag on guns? Fun. With all mod, you had to wait for food to defrost before you could smoke stuff. With sprout mod, you can smoke it directly from freezer. I guess that's an upgrade, yeah. Uh, this guy's got some ammo. Still don't have a weapon for that ammo. I'm gonna take this military backpack just for, you know, extra carrying capacity if you need it. You don't have to use salt, you just need smoking tool and charcoal. Guns are great until they go click, 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 and you have drawn a whore towards you. I mean, sometimes it happens, yeah. Uh, nine mil canister. There's also uh, a weapon side. Let's drop this one to the floor for now. We'll, we'll think about it. And uh, let's move this one. Tool itself is very light. Okay, that's good. I always hide in my base when it's foggy. Well. I mean, that's smart, because uh, zombies can still see you while you can't see them. So, definitely a, a smart way to play, for sure. I am not known for my smart plays. Ooh, that's another box of shotgun shells. Also, that is a grenade. Another grenade. We found two grenades so far. Uh, a stick grenade. So, I guess that's a potato masher and a frag grenade. 308, we'll take it. Explosive rounds? Come on. 556, five, that's another canister. I'm not gonna take the explosive round, okay? Mm. Ghillie suit? Uh, I mean, I guess it could be fun taking the ghillie suit. Alright, that's it. Uh, I definitely do want to take the bo both canisters. You know? I do want to take mo both canisters. Let's grab the weapons, why not? Or the ammo, I mean. You know, we don't really have the weapons. I think, actually, for 308, don't we have a gun? Maybe, I think we have a gun for 308. That's, that's nice, that's nice. Let's drink some of our soup. Even if fish gets rotten, you can smoke it and make it edible. Like, if you have level 7 in cooking, right? In base game, you can use rotten food, so... I guess maybe they went with that. That's fun, you know. Yeah, I do have, um, I do have ammo, decent amount of ammo. Not the guns for that ammo though. That's slightly unfortunate. You know, a uh, minigun canister, <laughs> uh, nine mil mag is fine. It's cool. That's cool. Like, I need a gun for 5.56, five, because we have a lot of 5.56 five, ammo. So that would be fun. Mm. 
Another magazine. Uh, compensator. I don't even know what gun we can put that on the floor. I'll take it since we still have spots to use. Th another magazine of 308. 9 mil rounds. Okay. And when I said magazine earlier, I meant canister. Don't put it in the main inventory. All right. We're loading up nicely. Let's bring this back to the car. You have steel balls loot in the military checkpoint in the foggy weather. Well, I believe that we're gonna do just fine. Also, like, there's, there's not even that many zombies here. We killed some at the start, and that's about it. You know? We're only, like, we're only playing on a high population. This is, like, we're not on insane or anything like that. You know? How about I don't drop this on the ground? Drop this in here. Alright. I mean, so far, at least the boxes of shotgun shells are great, because we do have a we do have a shotgun at home. I think we have a couple of boxes now, so that's that's huge. We can use that to level up our aiming a bit more. And then go from there. Also, I wanna use these grenades. I wanna I wanna see what the grenades are gonna do. Alright. Uh, do we just go for tents? Do we cross? I think we just go loot the tents, because there could be stuff in here. Using Legacy Fog, because I'm a noob. Uh, what does the Legacy mod uh, Fog do, Diogo? What day is it? Uh, we're in day, uh, we're in day 10. So, one-tenth of our uh, playthrough is already done, already dusted. No, we will not be testing the guns from Walmart. What do you mean? What do you mean? Alright, I think maybe these ones are not going to have anything for me anymore. I thought the tents could have... Some ammo and shit as well in these boxes, but I guess that's that's a big no-no. Oh fuck it then. Uh, oh look, there's some zombies here. Hello, friends. How do you do? Maybe I should use a gun just since we came here for guns. All right. All right. That crowbar is not long for this world. All right, he has killed. A couple hundred zombies so far, but it's not gonna survive for too long, is it? 90 days left, yep. Yeah. They usually hold 556. Five, Look at that! Found some ammo. Who said there's no ammo in here? And magazine as well. Alright, we're gonna continue looting them. Yeah, I could go to the barracks. I'm not sure how populated the road is. Because of course I can't see shit, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't I don't really care about the medical uh, tent, although there could be beta blockers in there which could be useful. I finally found a knife. I had no knife at all until now, day ten, ten days of no knives. Maybe I'll stop on the way back and I'll go uh, look for some beta blockers over there. Hunter's backpack. Oh, I'm gonna take it because I just want to see how it looks. Well, we got to day 10 in two streams. Like, this stream just started. We basically got to day 10 in two streams, so it's not that far. Oh, Legacy Fog improves your visibility. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. It's a lot of streaming to be done? No, 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 no. It's not even that bad. What do you, what do you mean? What are you talking about? So yeah, you know, we get oh five five six mag. That's huge. That is huge. That zombie. Uh, yeah, she's coming. She's a coming. The question is, do we stay the night here? Might be a bit dangerous staying the night here, huh? But uh, if I drive home, oh look, another hunting knife. It's not really going to give us a chance to, to loot more stuff. 
But if I were to stay here, where the fuck would I would I stay? Unless I drive in there and sleep in a car. I could do that. Uh, I, yeah, I could go up to a watchtower. Do I have any nails on me? Because it could make a rope. I don't have any nails on me, huh? I could just sleep in a car and they wouldn't be able to get to me if I park it like right next to a fence. Yes. All right. So we're staying here, boys. Yeah, I like the idea of that. It's going to give me a chance to loot it properly. New watchman in the military base. No, look, we can't we can't change the base every stream, okay? No, no, no. I'm not I'm not staying in a tent. Those things have no doors. Screw that. No doors, no windows. I ain't sleeping on that. So down there is the military uh, or the uh, medical tent. Ooh, somebody's shooting somewhere. Going toilets. Sleep in a toilet. There's knee pad. No, I don't want that. Don't want to overgear this guy. Look, I just want to... Metro has a gas mask. It probably looks cool. I'm gonna take it just because it probably looks cool. Man, I just wanna, I just wanna find a 5.56 five, gun, you know? Watchtower? You guys all saying Watchtower? Maybe I'll go into Watchtower. Also, uh, like a side pistol for uh, 45 ammo would be great because I have a lot of 45 ammo at home as well. So yeah, that, that would be sweet. Walkie talkie. 556 five, ammo. We could take one of these walkie talkies because those are gonna have the emergency frequency, right? Now, the only problem is if I stay here, I don't have much food on me. I only have the, the soup. So that's gonna be a bit shit. Is there poisonous gas in PC? There is not. Actually, there should be food in that tent. I can go check that place. Combat helmets? We don't need helmets. We don't need no helmets. What are you talking about? Yeah, we can, we can, like, either, maybe on a zombie or something like that, there should be a gun. Like, if there's any military zombies around here, there should, like, at least one of them should have a gun on them or something like that, right? Alright, let's, uh, let's add some more of this good stuff in here. Yes, yes, good. Sunter's backpack, the hunting knives. Walkie-talkie. Alright. Drink gas? What? You need metallurgy at max or carpentry to make good walls. I'm not gonna be making walls, though. You, oh, you know how to make an unbreakable wall. You mean the... The walls and the crates and all that stuff? Oh, fresh ham? Lard? Lettuce? Oh, boys, we eaten well today. Mmm. -hmm. Nom nom nom. Army's been eaten well, man. Army boys been eaten well. There's yeast here. Remember last time we were trying to make uh, a cake? Yeah, metal walls are like you need to have level eight, I think, metal working to actually make the the level two ones. It's just an annoying grind to get all the way up there. And my dude is already fucking tired. Really? Are you kidding me? Bro, it's like not even 7 p.m. What are you doing with your life? There's the watchtower. 
One time my character with bleeding hands climbed a sheet rope, escaped from a horde and fell into it. May he rest in pieces. Our hero. Great, now we're not doing any damage anymore. Because the dude decided to be tired in the middle of a fucking day. Great, great. Alright. I mean, this is pretty fucking clear, isn't it? There's a ghillie suit dude over there. Like, we should we should definitely go check. That was barracks. There's definitely some good stuff in there that we can get. Sneaky peeky like. Alright, these guys don't know how to get to me. Okay, that one guy might know how to get to me, which is annoying. Uh, we're probably going to have to break a window for this, which is also not fun. But it'd be like that. Handy trade and build wood walls. That definitely works. Uh, we'll take both of these things. Like being handy is always good. Oh, another box of shotties. Let's go, boys. Another box of shotgun shells is huge. Cartridges, we don't really need this. So we have this chair where we can sleep, but it's a bad quality. Like, this is worse than if we sleep in a car. It's more dangerous than if you sleep in a car. I I think I have to go uh, vet her, you guys, because this is not a good idea to sleep over here. Like, first of all, we have a broken window where zombies can get in. And second, it's just bad quality sleeping, you know? Living in a watchtower for four days. Like, I did sleep, like, in this series, I have already slept in, like, a, you know, a watchtower exactly like this one. I've already done that. So it wouldn't be <laughs> anything new. But, yeah. Taking care of your dog? That's, that, that's very good of you, my friend. Very good. Oh, he had a bed. Fair enough. That will definitely improve things. Uh, let's go down to the medical tent, maybe. On this day. I could, I could definitely grab uh, this bad boy and bring it back home. Because eventually we're going to need it, right? We don't have the book for it, but... We can grab it. You have a snake? You talking about... Uh, you talking about your penis? Or, or your pet snake? Them's the question. Where's my generator? Let's drop it in here. Snake. Ah, uh, ah, uh, a zombie? Pet snake. Alright. <laughs> What's up, Yogo? <laughs> what, you don't want to talk about your pet snake? Now far from that location, there's a big warehouse. No coffee beds, but should be safe enough to sleep on rooftop. You mean down these ones? Like, I, I can sleep in a car. I'm gonna be fine. I believe. I'll be safe in a car. Ain't nobody gonna touch me in a car. Like, why, why would these zombies want to drive a car, am I right? They don't even have a driver's license, probably. Like, maybe they had driver's li license when they were alive, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't count anymore. Is that a ninja star? How does... How the fuck do you use this? That's a ninja star. I've never seen this before. Boys, we have a ninja star. Do you like... Oh, you throw it. <laughs> you aim and you throw. Okay, I love this. I need to, I need to test it. I need to test my ninja star. Uh, further south, yeah, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna go further south. I don't think there's any need for that. It is indeed a throwable. I wish there were any zombies around right now to see uh, and test this upon. Take some bandages. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. 
I think we already have a suture needle holder. Actually, do we? No, we do not. Uh, give me that. Where, where was it? Give me that. I will need it. Maybe. All right, we got all beta blockers, big, big, big. It's very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, it's like a throwing knife. See, this this bed would be good to sleep. Actually, it's only average. Thought it was better. Never mind, I thought wrong. All right, what are we what are we eating? Gonna continue eating the. Soup? Probably. Okay, my dude is tired, so we definitely need to go sleep now. I'm gonna I'm just gonna drop some of the stuff in the in the car. We're not really gonna need. Gonna keep ham on me. Ham is gonna be my food for tomorrow. And we don't need all these painkillers. Or yeast. Alright. It's nice. Yeah, the blue beds are definitely good quality for sure. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive a bit, a bit further over here where nobody's gonna see us. Don't do that though. If I just park my car right next to the fence, like right next to the fence, right? There's no way they can get to me. And I can just sleep in here. And it should be fine. Now nah, health's fine. Just just got blimped a bit. So good. It's a bit chilly apparently. Look at that. Good night's sleep. Easy money, boys. Easy money. Health's good. Just some neck pain, you know. When you sleep in a car, it's, uh, it's fine. So good. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna park my car over here somewhere. And I'm gonna continue on foot. Look, no longer in pain. Alright, right, I need to I need to try throwing my uh, star. Where do all the zombies go? Hey, 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 hey. I'm back here. One day you won't wake up? What do you mean? Of course I will. Okay, the range on this is clearly bad. Well. We did some damage. Maybe. Hey, long blonde level up. That's sweet. It's level 3 in long blonde. That gives us a nice boost in damage. And that broke my uh, crowbar. Sag. Very, very sag, which means we go... We go shovel now. Hopefully shovel is gonna, is gonna do as well as a crowbar. It usually doesn't, but... Right now, that level up, for, up to level 3 in Long Blonde, it's doing beautiful over here. Anything in that backpack? Nothing. It's fine. Anything in large backpack? Nothing. All right. All right. We are shovel gamers now. Ooh, water. Right, right, right. I need to. I need to get some water. Otherwise, my dude's gonna be uh, dehydrated. Um. We can probably get water on the other side, right? And I do have this water bottle on me, so it's all good. Zombies eat your brains while you're sleeping? That's a lie. They would never do that. They actually cannot attack you while you're sleeping. That they can get right next to you and they, they will, they will look at you and just sit next to you. But they will not attack you until you wake up. I can play Project Zomboy later. Alright, that's, that's a good idea. You're playing Call of Duty right now? Sounds like fun. Why is it so empty over here? Like it's 
legit scarily empty. That's why you don't sleep in the open? That's why I didn't sleep in the open, yes. Good morning, honey. It's time to eat your brains, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely a good time to eat some brains. I uh, will park behind the barracks over here. There's definitely going to be some Zeds over here, but it's, you know. You, you gotta crack some skulls to make an omelette. That guy doesn't even know what to do with his life. PC is still development? Yeah, it's only been in development for the last, like, I don't know, 15 years? It's all good. Very polite zombies, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, is there any loot that spawns in these crates yet? Or is this still all empty? This is still all empty, isn't it? Yeah, alright, this is garbage. Uh, let's go there to that tent first. Of course the devs are still working it. They'll, they'll, they'll work on it forever, probably. If you let them. Hello, sir. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior Shovel? Bet you did. Yeah, I mean, because it's kind of it's kind of crappy. You wake up and you're being chewed upon. But then the thing is, like, it's kind of your fault if you slept in a in a terrible place. Like maybe it should it should wake you up if the zombie is like creeping up on you. Like the zombie is right next to you, that should that should definitely wake you up, right? Alright, fill me uh fill me that bottle. Actually fill everything. We're gonna cook uh, our breakfast here. Like one piece it never finishes. <laughs> is that how it is? Yeah, they they never spawn anything. No, I'm just I'm just uh I'm just checking if there's uh there might be any changes yet. Alright, let's make uh Let's make a stew. Let's make a soup. Let's make a stew. Hell yeah. Good old morning stew. Some kidney beans. Uh, tomato paste. Love it. Some stale steak. Add all that stale steak. So otherwise... It's gonna go to waste. We wouldn't want that. Could you like just, dude? All right, we're we're grabbing this. I need to loot this because otherwise he's just dropping stuff back. I don't want that. All right. Add some more beans, dude. Can I? Uh. There's a. Oh, that's a bread knife. That's not good enough. Anyway, can I add more? I can add more kidney beans. Hell yeah! It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Put this, turn it on. Alright, stick. Have fun, buddy. Thanks for being here, appreciate it. Take care. How do I survive one day? Well, you see, when the zombies come next to you, you kill them. And you kill them long enough that there's no more zombies around you. And then you, you find more and you kill those as well. And then you keep on going. Have you ever tried playing in a world full of sprinter zombies? No. No, I've never played with every zombie being on sprinter. If there was a way for character to wake up to his senses if Zed is close by? Yes, yes. Like, I think that would make sense. Like, I, like if you are... If you are a person... It's gonna wake you up if somebody's, like, walking right next to your head or something like that. I could see that being a problem, like... That a character is gonna wake up if the zombie's like outside, or maybe like you are you're sleeping up above and there's no way for zombies to get up there, but you're gonna still wake up from hearing them. Right? Which would definitely make sense, it would be realistic. It would also be slightly annoying for a player. So that you know, it just depends what they wanna do. Make it more realistic, make it more annoying, you know. Yes, I'll show you uh, the character stats in a second. Oh, look, hunting knife. Just let me let me clear these guys out. Like we we survived for what eleven days now, so 
don't really have high stats. But uh, slowly but surely getting there. Slowly but surely, just need just need some weapons. That's that's the big thing. We need more weapons. All right, we're good. Uh, so uh, let me let me show you the traits first. We are incomprehensive, which means we find less loot. Thin-skinned, deprived, which means we started naked. Uh, high thirst, on-site procurement, basically meaning we didn't start with any weapons. Slow healer, sun sensitivity means that we are in pain while in sun. No rations means we didn't start with any food. Smoker, unlucky, weak stomach, slow reader. Uh, positives are our cat's eyes, we got dexterous, we got gym goer for extra nimble scale. We got gymnast for extra strength and... Uh, uh, a th What's he called? Fitness? Yeah, fuck's sake, it's fitness. Uh, tinkerer. I think that gives us uh, points in electrical. One in electrical, one in mechanics, and one in... I don't remember what else. Uh, we got that. Uh, fast learner. Hardy. Run and gun, which means we can actually shoot while moving. Without penalty spec moves to carry more. Enhanced conditioning. I think that gives us extra strength and stuff. Evasive, strong, and uh, athletic. Actually, strong and athletic come from uh, the extra conditioning. Friendship bracelet. Aw. What is that? It's a cool bag. Coming book. Don't need that. So, yeah. And then uh, we start as a police officer. We sprint and light-footed and nimble. Those are starting stats. Let me put this on pause so I can actually show you more of this stuff. Long blunt, we leveled from zero. Short blunt, we leveled from zero. Maintenance, we leveled from zero. Cooking, we leveled from zero. Electrical, we started with one. Mechanics, we started with one and we leveled it to two. I think tailoring, we started with one. Yes, I think so. Uh, aiming, we started with three and reloading was a two. And then fishing and trapping, we learn from watching TV. There you go. Gymnast also helps you recover exhaustion quicker. And there you go. This man knows. Yeah, more traits. Good stuff. Oh, 5.56 five, ammo. Let's go. Still need a 5.56 five, gun. Imagine, imagine finding a gun, huh? Instead of just ammo. But when I do find that gun, oh, man. Oh, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna sing for me. It's gonna be beautiful. What is this? Rebreather? Dude. Kinda cool. Yeah, definitely. Zombies are not very stealthy. Like, you're gonna hear them when they try to get to you, like, slobbering, making noises, probably uh, falling over, trying to cross some stuff, you know? For sure. Funny, funny how I'm watching someone playing Project Zoma and awaiting Germany. I mean, is it is it funny though? I think uh, I think you're just doing your duty, man. Every man's duty is to invade Germany some sometime. Because let's be real, they probably invaded all of our uh, countries at some point as well. So it's uh, it's only appropriate we invade them back, isn't it? I'm not gonna take the chest rig, even though it would be like it would be great to carry more stuff. I don't want like I'm I'm just gonna take it. Fine, I'm not gonna put it on right now. Lumberjack is definitely good, yeah. I I I played a lot of lumberjack when I was first starting out playing PZ, for sure. Definitely a fun one you can use. It's a ghillie hat. Do we want a ghillie hat? I don't know. My dude needs a smoke though. Army parade, that's fine. Alright, there's a couple of Zeds over there. X-Men is great stuff, for sure. Would be nice if you could lockpick doors or chests instead of banging on the door for five minutes straight to break it open. Uh, there is a mod, I believe, that adds lockpicking. I haven't actually personally played with it. 
but I know there is a mod for it. I don't know how well it works, I don't know how balanced it is, but I know like there's uh, there's one where you really want to just lockpick everything. I don't think you can even open like windows normally anymore, like you can in game now. So uh, you know that one might be for you, Night Follower. I I don't know what it's uh, what the name for it is though. No. More magazines. It's interesting that uh, at this military checkpoint, we haven't found a single gun. There has not been a single gun yet. Lots and lots of ammo. Not a single gun. R.I.P. Yeah, it should be on. Uh, it should be on Steam Workshop. I mean, yeah, if he started as a veteran, I mean, he he was talking about lumberjack build, so he can't really start as a veteran, but, but yeah. Breaking down doors is a lot easier with axe. Like, uh, I always, as you said, I always try to, to find keys and dead zombies, but that's gonna change. Like, they said that's gonna change in the future builds. Where only the zombie that spawned inside of a, let's say, a house can drop a key for that house. Because right now, how you cheese it is usually, like, you, you pull zombies inside of a place that you want a key for. You kill them in, and then, like, you can, you can open extra stuff. Uh, because, you know, it would spawn a zombie that died inside of a house. But that's not, it's not going to be a thing anymore in the future. Which, you know, sad, but also smart. You sub? Hey, dude. You're, you're allowed to sub only if you properly invade Germany. That's how it is. You don't joke around. Also with cars? I do not know about cars. Don't know about cars, though. What is a Stormtrooper Trench Raider Grenade Pouch? I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna take that. <laughs> Sounds cool. I'm not gonna use it though. I don't think these these can even spawn guns, can they? Some bullet profest, we don't need that. Zombies ain't gonna shoot us. Um Isn't that 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 one up there? I think it's just radios and shit, isn't it? I think we mostly looted everything over here now. Currently, game randomly rolls the table for each zombie inside a particular building. The now setting do give you a small chance for rifle. Yes, I am also playing an unlucky uh, unlucky character, so less chance of good loot and zombies, unfortunately. But yeah. Bandolier? No, no, we're not wearing more shit on me. It's fine. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try looting more gun stores. Because in a gun store I did find actual guns. I was hoping that um, at military checkpoint we'll find some guns as well, but no luck. I found some guns on zombies as well, but it was pistols only. Like I found the one that I'm using right now and I think like two more. But they're all, you know, just pistols, so not the best. And they all had them in fanny packs. They had pistols in fanny packs. Yeah, unlucky trade is, you know, it's making me unlucky, which is understandable. It's fine. You gotta go, have fun. Pancakes will never fail. Kill waffles, all right. <laughs> have fun, buddy. Take care. Take care, dude. I think that one is just radios and shit, right? I don't think it's worth looting that one. Unlucky only... Unlucky is basically like a percentage of chance that you're not gonna find loot on zombies that you otherwise would. And it's just loot. Unlucky is just loot. Same for lucky. Lucky is also just loot. You have a higher chance 
finding uh, like rare weapons like katanas and axes and such on zombies if you are playing with Lucky. If you're playing with more traits mod, grab Grave Robber trait. It's gonna give you a lot of really good weapons and shit. Like, I found a ton of katanas with that trait. Why is this all in my main inventory? Who, who did this? Is there anything useful in there at all? Or is it just mostly administrative stuff? I don't remember. Claimer, do you remember? If there's anything useful in there? All right, there, there is ammo. Okay, okay, fine. I'll go loot it. We still have uh, we got space in the car. Oh, we have found a ton of magazines, which is also really good. And of course, lots and lots of ammo. So I really, I can't complain about the shit we found. Shouldn't complain at all. I do remember the prison cell, yeah. I do remember that one. But I don't think there was ever anything in the prison cell. Oh no, there's a door there. Yeah, but there, there's nothing in here. Yeah, I thought so. There's some army zombies, so who knows? Maybe one will spawn with a gun. That guy's a survivor. That guy could have something good. Oh, hello. You guys broke down the door already? Oh, you broke one piece of the door. You gotta admit, the shovel is doing pretty nice. Good, good job there, shovel. Let's go. First building is medical supplies, second building is where stuff can be found. Like, unlucky trade doesn't affect what is in the, uh... Inside... Ooh, meat stick. Inside containers. It's just what is, is inside zombies. Uh, are there doors on this side? There are doors on this side. I don't really care about meds. I'll take this bandage, I guess. Antibiotics we don't have. No, unlucky only affects zombie loot. You've never been uh, in uh, a zombie streamer server? I mean, maybe that's the best, you know, that's that's for the best, might be. Because, you know, these the zombie streamers can be, uh, can be crazy people sometimes. Uh, so maybe that's for the best. Hmm, do we take, now? Nah, you know what, we have enough batteries, we don't need that. But yeah, it, it can be fun playing on a bigger server. BMG suppressor, we have a BMG, actually. So... <laughs> I guess we can take that, even though it's... If you put a, a suppressor in BMG, it's still extremely loud, so... Alright, uh... Is there's that. Lucky trait is a lie. What do you mean? Playing with drunk is fun, but he can get you killed, I'm not bad if an eye. Yes, uh, like, if you're playing with drunk... You gotta have to really have to take care of you. That's that's basically that. Just have to take care of yourself. Never be too close to him. This is mostly just radios and shit, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. I think uh, I think it's time to go home. It's it's afternoon already, so uh, yeah. We didn't find any guns, but we found a ton of ammo.
So we can't say that this wasn't productive. We're just gonna have to look for guns somewhere else. Basically. I mean, this is Louis. I'm sure there's uh, plenty more places. Actually, I think... I could go loot uh, this watchtower as well. Yeah, let's go do that. I think on uh, like day one or day two, when I was uh, walking by the uh, all those small military stops, I dropped a 308 gun. I need to pick that up. Last hardcore challenge, I just ran as far from his group as was one of the two people to survive <laughs> on one life. Yeah, that seems like a very smart thing to do. Like, actually a very smart thing to do. He would always say, oh, it's, you know, all for, uh, just for entertainment. But in reality, he just gets people killed. That's how it is. Lucky trade don't increase the chance of better loot. Increases the chances of loot on, on zombies. That you will find rare loot and zombies and you know when you when you play and you survive for a long time You'll be killing a lot of zombies, which means the longer you survive the better chance you'll find something good I'm not gonna take the incendiaries. I don't think so And that's yeah, no, we're not taking incendiaries screw that Challenge before he used shotgun and loot everyone's mother and sister full of runners <laughs> <laughs> and then he said it was all for entertainment's sake, isn't it? Oh look, a zombie! Alright, it's 5pm, it's time to go home. By the time we get home, this dude's probably gonna get tired. We could loot... We could get a bit greedy and loot up here as well. Hmm. Why did I not fill this 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 car with gas? I don't know. But what if we do get a bit greedy and loot a bit more? What do you guys think? I think we get a bit greedy and loot a bit more. It was a bloodbath. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Who doesn't like a good old bloodbath? Alright, sorry if I ran you over previously, sir. It wasn't on purpose, I promise. Actually, it was. But don't tell anybody. Like, I could go loot these houses here. Like, these are military houses, right? Like, look, there's a... There's a nicely outfitted zombie already. Meat stick. Leather gloves. It is getting late though. We'll have to be careful of our moodles. Well, as long as he doesn't get tired, we're gonna be good. Anything in a backpack? Yes, food. Beef jerky. Take it. I don't think we have a can opener yet. So gonna have to be careful with that. You know what? It's, it's getting a bit late. I just wanna see if any of these guys have a gun on them. This looks like it. Like these, these places could have weapons. Could have ammo. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know, man. Okay, sir. Stay down. 
I'm gonna just have a quick peek before we go home. You know? Just a quick peek. This guy's outfitted. As long as we still have the shovel, we're good. I could actually use my gun over here. Because there's no way I can pull lots of zombies, because these guys have no way to get to me. Wow. Hey! Amy! Level up! Let's go! Oh, the guys outside the fence are panicking me. Yeah, that doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. Give me, give me beta blockers. Still have one shot. Uh, which which uh, gun store are you talking about? Because I already looted one gun store. Okay, there's definitely zombies in here. Oh, it's West Point. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We're... The I'll stay in Louis for now. Good thing it doesn't take a lot of shots to kill these zombies, right? You died in West Point? R.I.P. Don't they have like military uh, boxes and shit in here in these these houses? Am I wrong? Oh, you're just around the corner, aren't you? Sneaky beaky like. Hitting the prison then Louis will. Oh uh, yeah, it's that's uh it's gonna be safe. Not sure if I want to go like full on downtown in Louis, man. All right, this, uh, this pistol, not the greatest, but hey. Where's all this banging coming from? Where are you guys all at? Oh yeah, beta blockers are very, very, very good. I did find a couple. Oh, they are in the toilet. Well, you know what? This this place doesn't have the loot I want. Not really. I'm just gonna go home. It's getting late. <laughs> you grab them before you play Project Zomboid. Very smart. You, you wouldn't want to uh, go full on crazy, right? When playing Zomboid. Oh, there you go. My dude's getting drowsy. It's time to go home. Sorry, sir. Didn't want to run you over. But you were kind of crawling in the middle of the, of the road, you know? Woo. Don't hit the, don't hit the fence. All right. We go home. We go home. That's it. I did want to pick up a generator along the way, so we can bring home two. One for the gas station, one for the... <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, that wasn't intentional. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. We broke the windshield. That's fine. I need to drink some water. Mm-hmm. The first house or the second one had military store. I fucking knew it. I freaking knew that it had. I was just looking through it and I was like, oh, there's nothing there. God damn it. <laughs> I knew it was there. Hey, Seaman, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Alright, this might not have been the smartest going like this. Turn around. 
You know what? Going back there when I'm tired. Probably not the smartest idea. We can just clear zombies out and we can sleep there. Oh yeah, those boxes in the fence. Definitely the best thing ever. For sure. Like, I knew that one of these houses should have had stuff in it. And I was just looking through them, I was like, oh, there's nothing there. I wasn't thorough enough. We go back. <clears throat> we go back, boys. You work on some Kenshi videos? Uh, right now, I'm not working on any Kenshi videos, no. Sorry, lady. You're kinda in my way. Alright, we got we got vitamins. Let's pop some vitamins. Apparently I'm also out of Fuck. Um I need a battery. I need a battery for my battery. There you go. This, uh, this inventory is a mess. This inventory is a true mess. Alright, now we're ready. Alright. Those guys are still there. Let them be- What are you doing? Jesus. <clears throat> Let's find the house that should have military stuff. Try not to get murdered along the way. Be smart. It's a military guy. I think he has a pistol, or is that just how it looks? No, that's just how it looked. That dude's got some gear as well. This is like a medical area. And door's locked. So maybe this one over here? Yes, let's go. Imagine there was alarm. That'd be fun. Nine mil rounds, I'll take that. Okay, more nine mil rounds. Shotgun shells, very nice. Uh, we got some uh, 308. Also good. Also good. Alright, it's starting to get late. <laughs> like, I could spend the night here, but I think we're still gonna drive back home. I'm just gonna ignore these zombies for now. It's, it's great that we found this. I do have a 9mm pistol. Still haven't found like any actual proper guns. Which uh, makes me sad, but it's, you know. I mean, you do have a shotgun at home, so there's that. That definitely works. Alright. I did say I need to check where the 308 gun is that I might have dropped at some point. I think it was the 308 that I dropped because it was like, ah, oh, we'll not, we'll not need it, we'll not find ammo for it. You know what? I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep in the car again. I think I might do that. I might sleep in the car again. It's gonna be safe. And just double check the stuff that we looted on like day one, day two, in the military area because I uh, I definitely didn't pick up everything. I was like, yeah, you know, I don't even have a backpack. I can't carry this shit. So I think that might be the safest. He's just drowsy for now, though, so we can still keep on going. And I do want to grab another uh, generator along the way, just so we can bring two back home. That would be smart. All 
Uh, these guys broke through here. I don't necessarily want to fight them right now. Oh, hello. It's a bunch of you here as well. Yeah, I want to loot these again. Because I didn't properly loot them the last time. Hmm. Let's drive a bit further. I want to do this during the day. Actually, if I stop here, he's going to be seeing zombies and shit, and he's not going to be able to sleep nice. We slept here before. I guess we could sleep here again. There's no way the zombies can get to us there. Uh, where's this at? I'll show you right now. Alright, so this is Louisville, right? This is Louisville. Uh, our base our base is in a fire station here. Uh, otherwise, this is like on the edge. This is the this is the edge of Louis. All the way here. This is the military checkpoint that we just looted. And then there's this road that goes through here. That you can follow. And like there's a small military checkpoint. And then down here is a small military checkpoint that you can uh, loot these. So... These are kind of cool. If you have a sledgehammer, like right here, there's also a gas station on the other side. That's a, usually pretty safe. Ah, there you go. But yeah, I can, I can sleep up here. There's no way those guys can get up to me. It's gonna be a shitty sleeping, sleeping place, but yeah. It's feeling chilly. It's all good. Watchtower, here we go. And I can check if it left here anything last time. I left the radio on. Turn that shit off. Yeah, we can sleep here. The van's tired. Uh, let's... Let's eat... Our beans. Alright, we're good. We're not losing weight right now. That's good. Life's good right now. Ate the whole pot, have you, huh? Oh, actually gaining weight. Let's go. All right, we got we got some food in us. Vitamin sledgehammer. All right. Let's sleep. We got this. He's gonna probably have a neck pain in the morning because he's gonna sleep here. But yeah, that's fine. You're invading something. Good. Do you know what you're invading? Or you don't know what you're invading? How's a long night's sleep, huh? Yeah, there you go. Neck pain. Um, Where's my painkillers? We're also out of water. So let's switch these around. It starts snowing? Wait, it's October. Started snowing. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, look, now we have double pain. Good thing we took something for the pain. That was, uh. This was a, quite an adventure. I like it. Did I leave the lights on the whole night? I think I left the lights on the whole night. Fuck. <laughs> Good thing the car is still drivable. Alright. Let's double check this place. Because I'm pretty sure I left some ammo behind here. You guys spread out, didn't you? It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Dude, shovel is doing. It's doing work, man. I love it. Look at this ghillie suit guy. I mean, you can't look at him because you, you can't see him. He's invisible. Can we recharge the battery? Uh, yes, if you have a battery charger, which I do not. Right, it doesn't look like I left. That's another BMG suppressor. <laughs> The game knows that that's, that's the only gun I can find. Freaking BMGs. Hello, sir. 
You also can't see this guy. Mm, we're not taking helmets and bulletproof vests, because uh, let's be real. Protection is less important than how good you look. I stand behind that. Mm, canisters, we don't need that. You're invading a German camp? Nice. Ah, we'll take this generator. And drop it on one of the back seats. That way we have to. I don't think there's anything in here, right? No. It's just useless garbage. Zombies, shh. Stop yelling. I'm gonna need to go loot some... What is this? That's a crowbar! Alright, well, <laughs> guess we're taking the sledgehammer out, boys, because I want that freaking crowbar. Because I just wanted to say, we're gonna need to go loot a place where it can get some proper melee weapons. And I see a crowbar on that guy. Yes. We're letting the beasts in. Come on in, beasts. I want that crowbar. Oh, hell yeah. I'm here, crowbar lady. I'm here. Come and get crowbarred. Or I guess shoveled for now. That's two, that's three. Oh, yeah. Make a nice line. Now, yes, that's gonna allow zombies to come into Louis. Who couldn't come into Louis previously. Fuck it. It was all worth it for one crowbar. This was the safest city before. Where did that other guy come from? Just now. I think the shovel has better reach, but it's got slower swing speed, right? And I do like swing speed. I oh, need broke! On the last swing, it actually broke. Can't make this shit up. Look, there's uh, my metal bar that's broken before. We'll add the shovel to the pile. I'll be real with you, buddy. I don't know exactly what uh, what those two things are, but you know what? Good for you. This lady's got a weapon for me as well. A meat cleaver. Let's go. Where are those guys coming from? You know what? I don't even care. Let's go. Unlucky or good timing? That's the question. Oh, there's a fire officer there. Now, I believe I dropped a gun on the road here somewhere. I wish it wouldn't be snowing, because uh, it's making it harder to see, but I think I dropped it at some point. So I'm gonna just drive slowly down here, check for that gun, check the other checkpoint, then go home. Because I used that gun to shoot stuff. Uh, I think I looted these. I'm sure I looted these, right? Get out of my way, police officers. That's a prisoner over there. A 
let's let's go let's go was was any was anybody here on the first stream that might remember if i really did it here or not because <laughs> uh probably should have found it right this is how your love headlight died yeah look both of them still work perfect so uh, these are very sturdy you stepped on the mine i would advise against doing that like it's usually not very smart idea to do that mtf what was that thing back there nothing just a smudge just a smudge nothing to see there did i not drop the gun on the road uh, maybe i didn't maybe i covered it with a corpse who knows first time in your stream hey how's it going buddy good to get to see you here man good to see you all right i didn't drop the gun i guess there it is i dropped it i dropped it here though noise pretty new to the game and it's fine don't worry about it don't worry about it if you guys have any questions just ask look at that 308 gun shitty condition but we got it we have a ton of 308 ammo now which we didn't have back when i was here first and back then i didn't have a car i didn't have a good backpack actually maybe a backpack i did but still i'm just gonna quickly check if i left something here last time doesn't look like i did yeah if you guys have any questions about the game just feel free to ask and i'll try to answer as best as i can I don't need no bulletproof vests. Can't pass more than 30 days in game because it's getting boring. Is there a new one in their places? Well, the thing is, right? This is a full on sandbox game. So you can make it entertaining as long as you, as you want to, as long as you give yourself goals. You'll be able to entertain yourself. Just, you know, set goals for yourself. Like, if it if it gets too boring because you're doing too good or something like that. Where are you, zombie? There you are. You're, you're just too good. Zombies can't get to you. Have you tried going with much higher population? Have you tried living in, like, in the middle of a city? Like, basically, just give yourself goals. Challenge yourself and, uh, yeah. But I do know, I get it. Like, there, there's this... Uh, there's this allure to like start a new character because early on you got nothing it's hard to survive you, everything you find makes you happy and shit like that it's uh, it's definitely a different game you're waiting for animals i'll be real for, with you i'm not really looking forward too much to the animals but yeah oh, let's see we got uh we got an update let's see what they're saying heavy cloud cover mm. Right. Moderate rain with uh, snowfall. Awesome. Thunderstorm imminent. Okay, good Good thing. Uh, we don't know when, but good thing we're going towards home. Like, we sped three days away from home. It's time to go home if a tea storm is coming. My goal is impossible for me to survive one day and go outside and loot. Buddy, all I can say is just play the game. You'll see it's going to get much easier. As you play the game, it's gonna just get easier and surviving one day is not gonna be a problem anymore. Uh, is this car gonna die before I make it home? Because it's gonna be out of gas. There is, we do have an empty gas can. And there is a car over here. That should have some gas still that I looted in the past. Or took the gas from in the past. So I guess we can do that. I'm kind of new to the game. I managed to fence myself in the gated communities in Rosewood, but is there a way to carry heavy things past big fences? Oh, you just full on did that, huh? Um, I mean, 
if your character is strong enough, you can, but not things like generators, right? But if you did fence yourself in, maybe you can just break the fence and, uh, you know, try, try it again, then just rebuild it if you need to get a generator in or something like that. Everyone <laughs> lied to you, yeah, Nano. If you put a gun out there, it just deteriorates. Everybody knows this. But uh, to be honest, I like Killer Snake. Uh, Killer Snake. Uh, uh, oh, it's not Killer Snake. It's Killer Sake. Is that how it is? I never fully fence myself in because I do like, you know, to bring cars in and such. And for that, you do need doors. And, uh, like, the best thing you can do, instead of fencing yourself in to keep yourself safe, is just live upstairs with sheet ropes, for instance, and, you know, when you sleep, zombies will never be able to get to you. What's the worst way you ever died in PC? Well, I tend not to die, so that's a bit of a hard one to, uh, to answer. I kind of have to think, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, very recently in the multiplayer I did with uh, Ghoul King, uh, we had, uh, we had a plan to record it, let's say, 3 p.m., I think it was, and I was, on that day, me and my friends, we went on, like, this long hike, right, uh, very long, because it was, like, this event, uh, something something about World War II uh, and we went on a like a, it's like I don't know how many kilometers but it's it's quite a lot and half of the half of the town goes to do that and of course when you do that like you you walk for like I think it's like 15 or 20 kilometers you're gonna get tired and uh, usually there's also plenty of alcohol involved in there just to celebrate stuff I didn't drink plenty I drank a bit and so naturally, when I got home, I was tired. And then Ghoul says, because I was like one hour before we were supposed to record, I, came, I got home. Ghoul says, hey, I'm doing this with uh, another friend of mine. Can we like postpone this for another hour? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, catch some sleep. And I go, I go do that. I go to sleep and then I wake up and we start recording. I was all woozy like. And the first zombie that comes to me, I shoot it. Ghoul shoots it. We both miss, and zombie bites me in the hand. I was like, come on. All of this. All of this. Just so I can get bitten for nothing. It's horrible. No, you, you can't really hop over fences with, uh, with something heavy like that. Like, not over tall fences, right? Bees need to unnerve the flying bases. But how can they do that, though? Like, there's no there's no gravity, really, for anything that but corpses in the game, so... You know? And I don't know how they would fa uh, fix that without completely... I don't know. Destroying the game. Yeah, are you playing alone, Kurosaka? Because if you're alone, let me ask you this. What are you going to do with five houses? You, you don't really need five houses. Like, even one house for one person is, is more than good enough. Sometimes too much. Flying zombies? <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's a solution. Just add flying zombies to the game. Because uh, having sprinters is not enough. Let's add flying zombies. Oh, great. My car is dying. One time I died from a character being too hot in a juggernaut suit. <laughs> That's nice. That's very nice. Good shit, dude. Uh, I really should have... You know what? I don't need to stop here to do this right now. Or should I stop here to do this right... What the... F okay. You know what? This car is gonna need some uh, help. And these zombies gonna need some help because I'm gonna kill them right now. Zombie birds. Oh, very nice. Yeah, some building ideas for the houses. Alright, I mean, that's fun. 
but uh, like any of the heavy stuff that you need to bring in you're just gonna have to like either bring it in before you fence off the stuff or you're gonna have to do some breaking later because stuff like generators you can't really bring over the houses and I don't know I like I like having access uh, for cars like without car access it's kind of I don't know All right, zombies. You like like chilling over here? Ooh, that's a, that's a hatchet on that one. Let's go. That's that's decent fine as well. He's in the earth. Build stairs over the walls and destroy them later. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you could do that. You could also do that. Like there's a ladder mod that you can build ladders, but I know that you can't uh, you can't carry like a generator on a ladder, which uh, is unfortunate, but it is how it is. Accidentally put a cannon microwave. <laughs> yeah, I also set myself on fire with microwave before. That was fun. Very fun. Eat some meat sticks. Alright, let's grab one generator. And then we're just gonna... Wait, did the car start? Oh yeah, the car's on this whole time. Amazing. Uh, wait. Which side is my gas on? I think it's on this side, actually, in this car. I need to refuel this one. A stuck in Project Zomboid? Look, the, the way this works is you just have to play, man. You just have to play and it's gonna be fine. That's all you need to do. Just play. It's the nurse perfect barricade thingy. You mean wall and then uh, what are they called? Crates and then wall. Campfire and some long blunt weapons to save for your life. Oh yeah, fire always uh, always does wonders for your survival chances. You have a lot of playtime. How much is a lot of playing time for you? Just burning zombies and hitting them with a long blunt or spear is the best thing ever. I do love long blunt, for sure. It's, uh, it's like crowbars are my favorite weapon. It's just, you can't, you can't, you just can't beat a crowbar, man. It's just so good. I think I looted this completely now, right? Right, right, right. I think I looted everything here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do I need carpentry for this? Carpentry 3. I do want to bring some of those back just for storage. Do I have any... Oh, my inventory is full. Never mind. We're not taking anything right now. Wait, I can come back here at some other point. Live, die, repeat until you live longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have over 2k hours of playtime and still got to learn. Yeah, I mean, it's also ever-evolving game, right? So, there's always something to learn. And that's why we love playing it. Anyway, boys, took me three days, but home sweet home. Look at that. We're back, baby. We are back. Now all we need to do is just bring all the good stuff in here. 90 kilos of ammo and other garbage. We have 34 boxes of 308 over here. We're gonna have to repair that 308 rifle for a bit, huh? Crow crowbar is really the best weapon. The firefighter axes. Yeah, axes are pretty great as well. For sure. I would still pick the crowbar any day. 
Yeah, and just just add mods. If you feel like you're done, just add some more mods. What would a grenade do to a fire station? It depends if it's a grenade that starts fires or not. If it's one that doesn't start fires, then probably nothing. If it's a one that starts fires, then probably a lot. Hmm. I'm gonna move these two cars a bit. Actually, I would prefer to maybe bring the stuff upstairs. Although downstairs is fine as well, I guess. There we go, I can bring the other car in here. Yeah, turn it off. And it. Used to keep visiting police stations every few days just to check if they respond zombies carry nightsticks. Ah, nightsticks. Nightsticks are great as well, for sure. Yeah, just explosive damage wouldn't do anything. Fire damage would. We're gonna need to do something with this car. Like, it was great, but I think uh, it kind of died. The poor thing. Does loot respawn? Not un unless you turn that on. Like in sandbox, setting, sandbox settings, you can turn that on. I didn't, but most multiplayer servers have it on. Uh, engine is at 44%. Yeah, we kind of ruined it because the hood completely died. And we don't really have the skills to fix that. Yeah, explosives are pretty shit in general. You know what, at some point we could make a garden out here. Although it's gonna be winter time, so... Probably not the best time to do gardening. I guess we can store our uh, weapons and such back here. Like, that's a lot of storage here. And it's unused right now. Yeah, we can do that. Just store stuff over there. Oh yeah, in PvP, or if you like, if you drop an explosive on yourself, I would advise against doing that for sure. That uh, that will very much hurt you. <laughs> okay, let's put everything I want on me. I'm gonna put in the main inventory. Like food and such that I'm not gonna leave here. And that's gonna make it easier for me to just transfer stuff. Ham slices. Nom nom nom. I know the guy is tired or drowsy, but we still have time. There's the Arctic Warfare. We're gonna have to repair this one. We have the gun cleaning kit. Hopefully that's going to repair it nicely. Where'd you put it? That didn't repair it at all. 90% chance of success to repair it for 50%. Oh yeah, there you go. Let's do it one more time. Okay, decent. The more you repair though, the last chance that you're going to repair it well. The last chance that there's going to be anything. But yeah, there you go. We are in Louis, yes. We are in Louisville right now. Okay, let's just uh, let's just see what else do I have on me. Jesus, why do I have you know what? Just drop stuff in here that I don't want right now. I have so much crap on me, man. I just want gun stuff on me right now. So this makes it easier. Look at all that ammo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, very good. 
Uh, well, it depends based on strength, Z-Man. Uh, carry capacity is based on strength. And I also took a trait that allows me to carry more, which is Pack Mule. It's for more traits mod. So I have that. But if you have, like, uh, if you have a strong character, you'll be able to carry a lot more generally. I'm gonna grab all the crap that is in here. I'm gonna throw it out there. We don't need any of this. AWM mod? I don't know which mod that is. Tell me more. Which one do you mean by that? It takes about 10 plus bombs to kill a zombie from raw boom damage in Apocalypse. But one zombie or 70 zombies, as long as they're packed in, they die in the same blast. I don't think it takes 10 plus bombs. Does it? I'm pretty sure it doesn't take that long. But it definitely takes more than one. That's for sure. Uh, I don't have organized uh, trait. I don't think so. Do I? I don't think I have it. No, I don't have organized. I have pack mule. Uh, where I'm on the map, I'll show you right now. We are in Louisville. Right here. This is a fire station. Uh, right there. That we just took over. On the edge of Louis. Cleaned this place out. A bit of uh, good loot. And decided that this could be a nice place to start. So yeah, there you go. Alright, let's do organization here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put magazines in here. In the first one. Magazines in here. Let's put uh, just boxes in the second one. Probably more boxes are gonna fit in here. Actually, let's just put 308 in here. Because we have so much of that. I think we have lots and lots of 556 as well. Put that one in there. And then I guess we can combine these ones here. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll put the small ammo stuff here and then shotgun shells can go in here. And then like suppressors and all that stuff can go in here. Yeah, we'll do it. My dude is tired. This is fine. It's gonna have to be tired for a bit longer. Look at all that ammo, boys. Oh, yes. Grab this. There's the grenades. There's the barbecue that I brought back. Why did I pick up lard right now? Mm, Solvent trap. I think that's mostly what we want. We do have, like, guns of stuff already over here. Look at this. <laughs> Lots of 556, five, no ammo or no weapons for 556. Five, five, Lots of stuff. We're gonna need to do. Uh... Yeah, there's our BMG rifle. We're gonna need to do some more, some more stuff with this for sure. Just to make it a bit more organized. You know? Do I have any more magazines? We don't. I'll put the. Let's put the trap adapter in here. I need some windows for these, for sure. Compensator can go in here. Look at that, boxes of shotgun shells. Four, that's pretty good. Lots of 9 mil and 45. With strong woman. Uh, this is this is a fire station. This one is not police station. This one is a fire station, but yeah uh, We're we're still in Louis, so that's the same And strong woman will return boys. You heard it here first She she will return One day the day is not today, but one day 
Right, we do have more boxes of good stuff here. We have some arrows. There's the grenades. Oh, we do have a M14 for 308. We didn't have a magazine for it. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. And then we have... 357. That's the 9mm pistol that we have. That's a 9mm pistol that we have. I don't think we had any magazines. There's the shotgun. One of the two shotguns we have. My dude isn't gonna need to go uh, sleep very soon. I just want to organize a bit more. There's the flare gun. We have two rounds for flare gun as well. It's kind of cool. With the gun cleaning kit. And there's another shotgun. Yes, yes. Good, good. Alright. Put all these magazines in here. Now look man, for this one we're just uh, surviving for 100 days uh, based on where you guys want to like send me. Like the, the, the point was that you guys get to decide what I do. So you guys get to decide really if I'm going to survive or if I'm going to die. There was no... There was no... Otherwise there was no other goal. At least not yet, but you know, goals can be, goals can be, uh, figure out as we go, for sure. Let's put these two in here. I'm putting the BMG rounds in here. Yeah, basically otherwise like 100 days survival. Alright, we're gonna definitely need to go through those guns and I'm gonna... I'm gonna open these now. Oh, my dude's getting bored now? Really? Getting bored? You're getting bored here. Working on very important things for your survival. What a dick. Alright. What a dick. Okay. Let's just finish this. What do we have? These ones go in here. Should be nice. Look at that. We have 55 boxes of 556 five, and no gun. No gun. 32 boxes of 45. No gun. Man, sometimes life is rough, you know? How's life looking out here? There's a zombie over there. That's fine. 365 days survivor next. You see, that's a that's a cool idea, but it just it just it would take so long, man. It would just take so long. Oh my uh ham slices are getting stale. Rest in pieces, ham slices. Eat them quickly. Okay, now he's uh he's getting bored as well because we've eaten that. Okay, let's just go to sleep. He's going to feel much better in the morning. You can try hidden prison. Would imagine could be fun content. Oh yeah, I mean... Strong woman survived and rebuilt the prison. But I don't think it would be uh, too bad of an idea if we go do that. Again. Could be fun for sure. New map mods. I mean... Map mods are always fun. Wait, are we out of water? Oh, water ran out! Water ran out! Ooh, What day is it? It's gonna be day 13. Oh, we ran out of water very soon, huh? It'd be like that, boys. It'd be like that. Okay, we have some rotten berries, that's fine. Watermelon's still fresh, mmm, delicious. Fresh yogurt, some of that. Oh, 
I take advantage of zombie respawn by repeated raids on places that have good spawn chance for specific zombies. Fire stations are great. I, I get what you mean, yeah. I get it, I get it. I mean, it makes sense, for sure. If you know I can find something good on zombies, why wouldn't you, right? Tandil map before? No? No, I, don't, I definitely didn't. What's that one about? NPC survivor in your game? No, Tom. I don't I don't play with uh, any NPC survivors in this playthrough. Because they're usually um, a pain in the ass. And you have to babysit them to keep them alive. So yeah, I, I generally don't don't have them. No, no sprinters. No sprinters. This is just a... Uh, a normal playthrough with uh, high zombie settings and uh, very rare loot. That's basically uh, how it is. We do have mods like the... What is it called? Um, the uh, helicopter events, right? So we have helicopter events happening and shit like that. Oh, interesting. Pretty big map, huh? Like, uh, with, uh, with Ghoul King, we played in Raven Creek in the last, last playthrough. Raven Creek, I love that place as well. It's so great. And yeah, I, I, I have played in many, uh, many modded maps before, but I'm definitely always, uh, interested in new ones. Like that one. What did you say it was? Tandil? Tandil map? I'm gonna have to take a look at it. There's one very OP. I mean... There's always OP places, like you can't really... Can't really go past that in PZ, can you? Okay, so now that we are out of water, we're gonna need to bring back some of those water, uh, water thingies. We need to... we're gonna need to hunt for those. What was the last thing we read last time? I think we were reading, uh... Tailoring? Yeah, we're reading tailoring. Be like that. There's those unbreakable walls and spaces really ridiculously big for a base for a single player. Like, to be honest, having a big base in single player is just annoying. Like, uh, in Strong Woman, when I, like, had to rebuild the prison, Man, I really, really started to hate that place because it was just so big to take care of, you know? It it just annoyed me. You come get it annoyed me. <laughs> he will John, he just followed me on Twitch. That's a Twitch alert right there. Uh that I forgot to take off, but that's fine. Thank you, Evil Johnny. Appreciate that. Yes, Lost, this is correct. I do hear that a lot. How's it going, buddy? I haven't seen you in a while. What's the character stance? Uh, I'm gonna show you in a second. So, we got uh, a bunch of traits. Cat's eyes, dexterous, dream goer, gymnast, uh, tinkerer, fast learner, hardy, run and gun, pack mule, enhanced conditioning, evasive. Uh, we got to four aiming now, three reloading. Started as a police officer, so we were up there. Uh, zero long blunt three is where we got mostly using long blunt weapons But we finally have some guns as well that we'll be able to start using so that's fun I think I'm gonna go with the shotgun right now I think it's start we uh, It's time we bring out the good old shoddy get the aiming skill a bit higher. I Don't think there is anything That I've got that I can attach to this right? I don't have anything for it. We do have five boxes of ammo. That's pretty good. Just poking around. Sounds like fun. Sounds like something you would do. Oh yeah, dude. Plenty of long blunts on them. Actually, that's how we found all of our long blunts. Look, this shit, this, this gun. This is great. 
Thank you. Thank you for the follow on the, on Twitch. Appreciate that. I'll do some more uh, streaming on Twitch in the future. For sure. Alright, uh, what are we going to do right now? It's going to go a bit further down here. I learned to appreciate basement mods. Ah, yes. Basement mods are great, for sure. I mean, Sharky, that makes sense. Like, if, you, if you're living in a place that... Uh, that zombies can actually get in, you have to be on your toes. Yeah, that sounds like fun, for sure. Now, the reason why I'm going down here is because I want to see... If any of these places have those water coolers that I can steal, like offices often have them. And I want to see if they have them here. Oh yeah, there's one. Let's go. Hell yeah. Big. I do have silencer mod. I only have a silencer for a BMG, though. Which... Let's be real, is not quiet at all. If you even if you use it uh, with that, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go we're gonna have to go loud here. I am currently not online on Twitch. I haven't been online on Twitch uh, for like two months, and I think January was the last time I was online actually. And there, uh, but I, I do plan on streaming on Twitch uh, some more. I'll probably not stream PZ there though. I'll probably stream something else and PZ. Uh, it's gonna be streamed here on uh, on this channel. You end up with a lot of trash in the ground. You know what? I do kind of uh, I do kind of like the look when you have like trash in the ground and shit like that. You know? I'll, will I be able to climb up with this? I'll be able to climb up with this. Let's go. Sweet. Who says we don't have water? We're gonna put this. Jesus, there's not many spaces in this kitchen where you can put this, huh? Ah, uh, you know what? No, 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 not there. Put it there. Small but cozy. There you go, we got water. Would be nice uh, finding some more, though. Excuse me? Did he fail jumping off? <laughs> that sounds fun. You know what would be smart? Actually trying to get some more cars right now. That might be smart. Also, what do we, what else do we have? Like, we still have... Oh, shit, I forgot to take food out of here. Yes, that's probably a problem. Take everything that you can. And let's go. You follow? Thank you, buddy. Like, I, uh, multiple times in the past, I used the mod Trash and Corpses, right? To just add Trash and Corpses to the game. It can be a bit broken if you, if you start, like, with nothing or something like that. Because you can very quickly outfit yourself with just that, but, you know. It, it also looks cool, and that's all that matters, really. Alright, uh, let's drop... Ground beef in the fridge. What else do we have? Corn. That's all. Yeast doesn't need to be in there, does it? What do I even do with yeast? Make pizza? Ooh. We need salt, a rolling pin, flour, and then oil. Dudes. Remind me to find salt and rolling pin. And then flour. I, I want to make pizza or bread. Making bread would be smart as well. Because then you can make burgers. That would be huge. Kidney beans. Nom nom nom. Hello, Rom EG. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. Just having fun with some PZ over here. Enjoying a life and all that good stuff. 
There's a food mod as well that will allow you to make varieties of pizza. Ooh. Like, I almost never do something like that, but just thinking about it, it, it could be fun, you know? It could be fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna equip one of those chest rigs or something like that that I have. Mm. Maybe this survival vest? I wanna see how it looks, just so I can have... How does this look? Doesn't look so bad. Just so I can have medicine in here. How does this, this thing look? Rig. Oh, no, 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 that's too much. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, where the hell is this? Is it? I'll use this one just so I can have my meds in there. I like having stuff like that in a... Like a separate one. Just so I don't need to look at them all the time. And having a pencil. And a pen in there as well. Some painkillers. I don't use mods, not because I hate mods, but because the game already got my hands full. If I had more stuff, I wouldn't be able to take everything in. Well, Oswald, that's how it is. You know, you play for a while. You have a feeling that you have a good grasp of what the game has to offer. And then you add mods, right? You don't need to add them right away. That's, that's the beauty of it. Uh, draw the bandages in here and maybe some alcohol wipes. There you go. That cleans up our place very nicely. Which means I can then drop all this stuff. We did it, but yeah, there you go. I don't have a mod that allows me to switch these around, which is going to be annoying, but it's how it is. Hello from Australia. Hello, Joe Milk. How's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Bread for sandwiches are pretty good. Got that mix in your diet? Yes, yes. Bread for sandwiches is definitely good. For sure. You do need to find something to fill the sandwiches with, though. Uh, let's add these in here. This is going to nicely clean up my inventory a bit. So I need to carry so much garbage with me all the time. Better. Some inventory management, you know, sometimes men's gotta do what a man does. Uh, we got weapons over here. Do we have any extra weapons? I'm kinda low on that, am I not? I do have an extra shovel. Which is decent. That's about it. I keep the sledge on me because I need- I have nine hunting knives? I had no hunting knives and I found nine? Well, these are gonna be decent. We can add them to spears or something like that. I'll keep one on me. There's one thing I hate about one of those mods. It gives you sound clue, and if you make it repeatedly, it gets annoying. Hearing Danny the video repeating. Really? I have I've never heard that. But yeah, that does sound annoying. <laughs> Probably don't need to have 90 cigarettes on me either, do I? I'll drop a bunch of these in here. Add a couple in my main inventory. And the rest we're gonna store. Put the cigarettes in here. Alright, this is starting to look good. Let's bring the gun stuff down there. I just learned recently you can make fried foods with meat, fish, prawns combined with flour. Look, the thing is, cooking is one of those things that you're not really gonna try to use too much, right? You're just, you're just not gonna. No matter what, you're probably not gonna spend too much uh, working on food stuff. Why the hell can I not do this? We'll leave that hunter pack in there. 
grab the barbecue. I want to bring the barbecue upstairs because that's going to be our uh, cooking thing. This looks weird for a backpack. Yeah, whenever we run out of uh, power, we're going to be able to cook with that. Yeah, there's a lot of meals you can make, but like most of us will never make those meals. Because you just, you'll just never make meals, right? You'll, you'll make some basic stuff, but that's about it. There you go. We got, we got that. That's usual. That's nice. Learning carpentry would be good so we can build a door over here. <laughs> I think that would be a good idea. Uh, what else do you want to leave lard behind? And this walkie talkie, I'm gonna, where do I want to place this? Can I place it up here? Yes, yes, we can. There you go. And then it should have the emergency broadcast. Don't need to be this loud. Showers or heavy rainfall. Th a thunderstorm in three days. Oh boy. That's gonna be fun. All right. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Thunderstorms. Have you found a ninja sword yet? Uh, no, we do not have a katana. No katanas over here. It would be nice finding one, but probably not going to happen. Multiplayer, it's fun to have someone filling with a kitchen, make some fun stuff with food. You know what? I actually do like making uh, food. Like, it's, it's, it's a fun little side game, right? I do like it. It's just, uh, it's never, like, a high priority. Uh, somebody's banging on my doors, excuse me. Zombies? Don't think I allowed that. Where yet? Sir, none of that. Oh, we have neighbors. Hello. What's that on you? Oh, crossbow bolt. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Crossbow is back in the menu. Nice, nice, nice. Very, very nice. All right. We good? We good. All right. I want gas. Having that crossbow bolt is going to be awesome. We're going to go grab gas right now. This character going to be hunking down Louisville throughout 100 days or will he move around? Well, actually... It really depends. I, I'm not sure yet. Like, right now, I'm happy here in Louis. Because there's still a lot of Louis to explore, right? Look at that ninja star. Lots and lots of Louis to explore still. But at some point, we can go further. We don't need to stay here. Neighbors are not friendly. Yeah, you know how it is. Is that a, is that a soldier? No, it's not. Alright, we're gonna ignore those guys. Just wanna get some gas. Yeah, you guys can decide where we go, for sure. That's kind of the whole point of this thing. But you guys also decided that I should make that my base, so... We still have a lot, uh, a lot to do here. I would like to... Take fuel. There you go. 
need to fight with your bare hands, nothing more? Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm kind of happy not fighting with just bare hands. Like throwing maybe this uh, ninja star. Whoa, I just killed. Oh, hell yeah. We just sniped that guy with... What the fuck would you jump through that? Jesus. Well, that's, that's fun. Oh, I didn't kill her. Give me back my ninja star. Fun. Uh, no, I do not have the Horde Knight mod. But I do have the helicopter events, which means that... Uh, like, jets are gonna be flying over and... Bringing zombies to the... To the front and all that stuff, so it's gonna be fun. But other than that, I was thinking now that we have a shotgun with hundred and some shells, what if we go a bit further into town and well we slay some zombies? What do you guys think about that? It is getting late today, so probably not throughout this day. But I can explore the neighborhood a bit more. I try to find a new car, that would be perfect. Who knows? Look at that. That car looks fresh. Phone battery. Engine is crap, though. Maybe it's not as fresh as one would think. Got some bandages we can steal. Nothing back here. All right. Let's go check the neighborhood, shall we? Maybe there's uh, there's cars parked around here. Yes, yeah, so we could go to that police station. Like there's the the there's the. It's not Walmart. It's the. It's a. It's a small mall. That could, you know, get us a lot of stuff. So all that kind of good stuff we could do. There's a lot of zombies there. Because I drove through at some point just to get to the bookstore. Which didn't have what I needed. Right, ninja star. I'll definitely forget this in one of the zombies. Yes, look at me lady. Oh, come on. We can quickly! Ah, that was close. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be using that. I wonder if it levels up my uh, aiming skill. I need to check that, actually. I wonder. Uh, what's it right now? 228.87. Remember that. 228.87 Ah <sighs> Okay, let's hit one Okay Nope, okay, it's not it's not aiming. I have no idea what skill it would be then But uh doing some damage I'm gonna look on the map in a second, uh, Claymore. Uh, we can uh, we can talk about this. All right, let's take a look at the map because we have this open. So if I remember correctly, uh, up here there's a police station. So this is we are here, right? This is our base. There's the there's the mall, and there's the bookstore and all that stuff. Is this one of the police stations? I'm not sure if it is. I don't think it is. But I know there's like one over here. No, it's this one. This is the police station. Pretty sure this is the police station. Short blade? Yeah, it could be. This is the police station, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know it's like right next to the road. So this is the one. And then these are the two schools. 
And then I think this is a police station as well, right? Yeah, I think this is this is one and then this is one if I remember correctly, but this one is like in the middle of pretty much every zombie ever. So there's that. <laughs> and then, of course, we have that, which I'm not sure yet if I want to go there. But yeah, like exploring and looting this area would, you know, would take a while and there would be definitely plenty of good stuff there. I'm gonna find some good stuff. Oh, look at that back there. Okay, we could not find good stuff in here. I should actually check some of these garages before it's too late in the evening. I'm gonna grab the propane tank as well. We can use that. Yeah, maybe we'll go to the police station next. What do you guys think? Should we go to the police station? All right, let's see. What's my uh, short blade skill? 0 0.03. It's really low. Give him back my ninja star. No, no skill there. I don't know. Maybe it's no skill at all, right? Maybe it's just no skill. Maybe it's just an extra thing, like uh, a grenade is not gonna give you, or a Molotov is not gonna give you any skill in anything. But you can throw it to make damage, or to do damage. To make damage? What? Uh, yeah, there's a good number of Zeds there. Uh, I've looted that before in a, in a playthrough, and it wasn't it wasn't as bad as like a proper mall because it's not that big, but it's still it can be still pretty uh, pretty occupied. Oh, fresh lemon! Nom nom nom. We get some steak. Nice. We'll steal some stuff from here. We still had, don't have a can opener. So, uh, you know. That'll be fine. Uh, that would be mighty fine to find. So we're gonna need that for food making properties. Any good books? Nope. We also don't have a, a generator book. Right? Uh, we don't know how to use generators yet. Having that would be smart. Because we're gonna be running out of power soon. And this one's for sale, which means there's probably nothing there. I'm gonna go check these two garages, I think. Really takes a long time to aim this. To aim this star. I don't even know. I need to check which mod adds this. It's from Gunfighter. Oh, we got another gun in a fanny pack. No, we don't. It's just a speed loader. Still. Not too bad. Not too shabby. How long have I been streaming for? Oh, decent amount of time. Nobody heard that? I'm sure nobody heard that. Shovel, let's go. That gives us oh we don't we can't even carry any more stuff. Yeah, yeah, fine. I'm gonna go home. The man's getting tired. <laughs> nobody heard that. I knew it. I knew that nobody heard that. Shit. Ooh, that guy I think's got bolt in him as well. Let's go. No, that's a letter opener. That's fine, I guess. Oh yeah, rolling pins for pizza, for sure. Is a pawn shop not too far from police station if it's north? Really? 
Like, I very rarely go to a pawn shop. I never manage to find anything good in there. Like, what, what would you... What do you think I could find in there that would be actually good? Because I never have any luck with that. Hello, sir. Where are you going? I'll take the extra hammer, why not? And the metal pipe. Box of nails, yes. Very good. Alright, let's go home now. Ooh! <laughs> that was a zombie there. They usually hold one variety of stuff, from books to ammo and other random stuff, depending on which one you look at. Yeah, that, that's that's what it is. Like, I never actually find anything good at them. Because it's just... It feels like it's very random, you know? Welcome back, Stick Veteran. How's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Welcome. There's a chance they spawn a katana? Really? I mean, if that's true... We should definitely go to a pawn shop. I do not know where the pawn shop is though, because I, as I said, I never found anything good in them, so I don't really memorize their uh, places where they are. You're on your second phone. Should I ask why do you have two phones, or is that like... Is that just a normal thing? You know what, for now, let's all just be thankful that the electricity is still here. Let's all just be thankful. We still have electricity. I think bookstores should be my main priority to find a generator book. I think having a generator book, finding one, learning that stuff, should probably be my priority. And I do think there's one in, uh, in the mall there. Hmm. It's not really normal? Okay. Okay, if you say so. It's just you going around with one, huh? That's okay then, that's okay. Keep the shovel on me. We don't need the ninja star on thing. Oh yeah, we could go school. We could go school, but I'm not sure if I want to go school. I think I'm go. Uh, I think the reason why I want to go mall instead is because it's um, it's very open area around it, right? It's very open area around it. So if I go with shotgun, it's gonna be easier to kite stuff. The school is really in a very big residential area, which means there's gonna be lots and lots of Zeds around, right? Just coming from around corners. So, could be a bit of a problem. Let's let's use anything that is stale, like the ground beef. Want to use that? Yeah, school could be a problem for sure. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Foxy, how's it going? Hey, hey, Foxy. Yes, they're, they're called shurikens sometimes, indeed. Yeah, getting more food would be smart, probably. Like, look at this. This thing's got 80 hunger. 109 thirst. We're making some good stews, for sure. I added lard to this one, which means that it's... Also gonna get my keep my weight up. So there's that. You know what? Uh, well, I think I think it should be priority. Like bookstores should be priority than uh, a hardware stores as well. Maybe for some more weapons of all kinds would be smart as well. Uh, the thing is, we don't 
we don't really need to rush anything besides the um besides the what's it called jesus christ <laughs> the the book for generators yes generator book besides that we don't really need to rush anything like we're fine on everything else i feel like nothing else is that important Uh, put the put the bandages in here. I guess we're gonna keep the crossbow bolt here. It's fine. Why do you not use bushcraft? There's some really good uh, weapons. I don't know. I have used that before. I don't think I have it in this playthrough, but no, no real reason. Don't go to school unless it's multiplayer? Why do you think that? Schools are not that bad. Yeah, uh, beans are great for calories, actually. I do like beans, very much so. Like This thing's got... 104 hunger. Pretty good. Pretty dang good. Let's go to sleep now. Smoke and go to sleep. I'm gonna need to clean this this guy up, but look, we got no running water anymore, so yeah. Yeah, season two is coming. It's just you know, takes a while. Like the whole the whole first season, I spent from like October to February <laughs> making it. So yeah, it might take a bit. Might take a second, don't worry about it. We do need to learn carpentry before too long as well. Carpentry books would be uh, smart as well, just so we could uh, have running water. You know? We're on day 14 right now. Uh, you know what? Before we go, give me a second. I'll be back in a, in a moment. I just need to refill my tea before we go. Before we go smack stuff, so uh, I'll be right back. I have returned. Let's go. Turn off the music and let's do this. Ah. Schools have many rooms and quarters and you at least need three people to watch your back on all sides. That's not necessarily true. Like, it's definitely smart if you have somebody watching your back, but it's not needed, you know? Yes, library for books would be smart. The thing is, I already looted the library. But not the one in the in the in the school, not one in the mall. I just looted like one bookstore. Uh, let me let me just click it. Let me just check this quickly. Um, yeah, I can go, just go straight through here, and then go in here. I think there's like a bookstore in here as well. There's a bookstore like here that we looted, but I think it's one in here as well. You know. 
Schools are no-no zone for most newbies. I don't think schools are that bad. I, I, I wouldn't agree that schools are that bad. They're bad, but they're not that bad. At least in my opinion. I'm gonna ignore these zombies, by the way. You can follow me if they want to. I'll ignore them. Uh, let's get the beta blockers out as well. We're gonna need them. Let's go. Finding non-perishable food is always fun. Uh, their only problem is I don't have a can open there. <laughs> right now. <laughs> you see, that's, that's a bit of a problem. No can opener on me. Look at that beautiful car. A nice looking car. Alright, like, this is, uh... What I'm doing is probably very dangerous. And I would not advise you guys to do this. Because we're gonna go, and we're gonna start shooting. Like, the police officers who shot this guy over here, clearly. Really love this, by the way. That looks cool. Oh my god, there's, uh... There's some zombies around here. There's some zombies around here. There's also plenty of cars here that we can grab. You know? Uh, I think you need a mod for a knife to open, doesn't? don't you? But I'm not sure. Ooh, look at that jeep. That jeep looks sweet. Uh, I'm gonna try to ditch the guys that are following me right now. By going around the food market. That might uh, ditch most of these. Of course, later on they're gonna hear me shooting, but, you know. I don't think I'm gonna be ditching anybody because there's just a nice amount of these guys here. There's a horde behind you? Really? I didn't notice. Are you sure? I know it used to be a mod, but I don't... Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? What's going on over here? There's the, there's the Giga Mart. There's the Giga Mart? That's not the one yet. This thing's got a ton of food. And I, I'm pretty sure this one also has a section for tools and such, so you can find uh, crowbars and shit. Oh my god, there is... There's a lot of zombies. Last time we were driving through, I think alarms pulled a bunch of zombies around. And this is why we have such groups here. There's a mod that makes you able to use vending machines with money instead of banging on them. Yeah, but I, I think that makes those vending machines unlimited, doesn't it? I'm not sure if I, I, if I want that. Alright, so this is, the, this is the place we want to go in. That thing right there. Okay, uh, hit me with beta blockers. And we start pumping. Let's go, boys. That's how it begins. This is how it goes. This is gonna attract a lot of zombies, probably. We'll see how much we can do. How many kills do I have? 600 now, let's see. Uh, I probably won't be able to reach chat for a second. Because I'll be slightly busy. <laughs> I do have to remember that I can move and shoot. Oh, that helps so much. Oh yes, oh yes, that helps. Do have to reload sometimes, though. Whoo! Hey, leveled up, aiming. Okay, if I can... What I can do is, now that I have grabbed the attention of these guys, take them in this direction. And then I swing around the, the house over here. And uh, hopefully lose some of them. Tight corners, let's go. Alright. Yes, 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 okay. Now for a second, we don't use the shotgun. 
we keep going this way. We co keep going this way. We definitely should loot the American tires at some point. All right, we, we chill around the corner for a second. All right, let's see what you guys said. Yeah, it's unlimited. There you go. Uh, I did use beta blockers. Vika. I did use beta blockers. And I have a trade that allows me to move and shoot without penalties, which makes this much easier. But yeah, I think we, we lost a lot of zombies back there. So if I, if I go around this way again... I can probably just switch to crowbar and I won't really have much issues. How close are we to the gun store here? The, uh, not the gun store, the police station. That's the police station. Mm. Oh, man, I kind of want to go there as well. I think that's the police station. Maybe that's not it. Buy MTF. Take care, buddy. Let's go, boys. So sneaky. Such a sneaky shotgun. Does anybody have a PZ map open? Because uh, I would like you to check, if anybody wants to, to check if there is actual bookstore in here. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I did use them at the start. I did use them. Oh, that's a... Yeah, there's gonna be a lot in here. Oh, there's gonna be a lot in here. Farm shop? Oh, why do you want me to go farm shop? We are here in uh, in Louis. And this this mall over here. This is the the front entrance right there. I don't know if this one has the bookstore or not. It's been probably a year since the last time I was in here. <laughs> you know, I'm in good hands for sure. There is a hardware store as well. Let's go. Watch watch the alarm pop up right now. I'll be fun, wouldn't it? Hmm. 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 I think it's uh, we're gonna have to take the shotgun out, wouldn't we? That's gonna attract more people. Might be a bit of a problem. We don't have unlimited shotgun shells, you know? So if I shoot, I want people to squat up. I can hear you behind me, zombie. Please calm down. Dude, it feels so good to be able to walk and shoot. Hell yeah. I'm sorry guys, because I can't read the chat right now. <laughs> kind of have to concentrate on this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's more coming from this side now. Fuck. Oh, boy! Oh, I just saw how many there are in there. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough ammo for this. <laughs> I don't think we have enough ammo for this, boys. I mean, I know shotgun shells do beautiful, but... Hello, hello there. Yeah. 
I think we need to bring these guys somewhere again. I think I think I need to uh, I need to bring them away. Follow me if you want to live. I'm not ready to abort yet. Like we can we can kite these guys away. Right? We can we can bring them back here. And then we we swing around again. We bring them to American Tire or something like that. And I jump the fence over there. This zombie doesn't wanna let me go, man. Actually, I'm not jumping this fence because if the zombies heard me shoot, they'll be on the other side. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not jumping. I'm not ri taking that risk. Uh... There were none there. Okay, that's fine. Hello, friendos. How do you do? We've been here before. This is where uh, the bookstore was. So that should have taken care of a bunch of zombies that are like over yonder now. If I swing around, that could work. Oh, dude, I should have... I should have brought... Fire with me. You're right. Fire would have definitely solved a lot of stuff. Oh, you guys saw me, huh? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I don't think that's what we agreed upon. You see me? Oh, no, there's an alarm! That's what they saw. There's an alarm here. That's why everybody's moving in that direction. That could be actually good for us. Because everything is going to move in that direction now. I just need to... Ah, oh, fuck. I can do this. These guys all heard the alarm there. Yeah, yeah, let them go. Let them go. Like, sure, a bunch of them are gonna be following me through here now, but not nearly as much as how many they're going there. It's quite a pickle. Nah, we good, we good. No problems whatsoever. No problems at all. My dude is panicking a bit. I really don't want to take the shotgun out right now, because uh, that's gonna call them back. I do have quite a lot on me, though. Still a lot in there. Hmm. How many shells do we have? 75. I don't know, man. This is gonna bring them back. Hey, reloading level up. Look at that. You don't think the mall is worth fighting for? I mean... You might be right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Gotta reload. Y you might be right. <laughs> you might be very right there. I don't have a Molotov on me. Like, I, I, I think I have a couple on... You know what? I really should come back with a Molotov, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? That's that's smarter. Because I'm I'm wasting a lot of uh, my ammo right now. I should go home, bring back uh, Molotov or anything like that. Burn them. Because otherwise I'm just wasting my ammo. And I really shouldn't be wasting my ammo because I don't have that much. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean... How many, how many did we kill? Not that much. <laughs> we killed like 130 with a shotgun. Decent. We can definitely clear this place out. I just, like, I'm afraid that if I go uh, Molotov, I'm gonna burn them all. I'm gonna burn the bookstore. But that's fine. Like, that's that's okay. We can, we can, we can bail out. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. There's definitely plenty of zombies over here. We can come back, burn them all, use the shotgun for a bit, make a nice ball of zombies, then burn them in the parking lot instead of uh, inside of uh, any of these places. I think that would be smart. And then we can then we can take a pig, we can grab a car or whatever we want to. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go home, boys. Let's go home. Still, you know, it was a nice adventure. We realize there's a lot of zombies here still. Truly a lot of zombies. But that's okay. You know? Because that's why my boy is here. To um, kill some zombies and uh, chew some gum. And let's be real. Actually, he has gum at home. <laughs> so he's not all out of gum. It would be nice grabbing one of these cars, but there's no way I can fight for one of these cars with... Actually, I don't even have that many zombies behind me. We lost most of them. But whatever I fight these, I'm gonna pull more, right? So... Uh... Eh, maybe I won't. Dude, stop panicking. Alright, you know what? I'm not taking beta blockers to fight these zombies. Screw that. No, we're fine. We're going home. Infection through bite? No, uh, if I get scratched or lacerated, there's a chance of infection as well. Just basically normal settings. I don't remember what the chances are, but I think... Uh, scratch is like 7.5% or something like that. And laceration is what? 15 or 20%? I don't remember. Yes, panicking also affects melee weapons. Hey, Omen. How's it going? You love to see it, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Mm, yeah. Onwards to glory. Onwards to glory to home. Semerson scratch, less version 25%. Yeah, and bite is 100%. Yeah. There you go. What does that guy have? What is that? a weapon on him. Fuck. <laughs> I need this. Sorry. Ah, uh, it's a baton, though. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Take it. Alright. I don't know if it was worth this. Probably not. But, uh... I needed that baton. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no, it was worth it. Is this two-handed weapon? Yes, yes it is. It's very short though. Oh well. Ah, right, we're gonna we're gonna take some side roads over here, boys. Oh fuck! Bad side road, bad side road. Don't take that side road. Let me say that. Good. Hey, I'm good, dude. I'm good too as well, buddy. It's nice seeing you here, buddy. <laughs> I even had a like a prompt uh, on on Twitch when I used to stream on Twitch more that said things like "Holy balls on a chopstick," and you love to see it. I think if you yeah, if you follow oh fuck, if you follow me on Twitch. Uh, this is a sketch. If you follow me on Twitch, it pops up as uh, 
Uh, holy balls on a chopstick. And then you love to see it and all that stuff was for bits and shit. That was fun times. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the shotgun down here in the base. For sure. That would be not the smartest idea ever. I do wanna... Nah, well, these guys are not really following me, that's fine. You watch most of my Kenshi stuff? Let's go, dude. Thank you, I appreciate that. I did... I did play quite a lot of Kenshi stuff. That's for sure. Good game. One of these decades, we're gonna be seeing Kenshi too, remember that. It's gonna be in... Probably the next two decades somewhere. I love the fact that this is so quiet down here, and it's mostly because when we first drove up there, the alarms pulled all the zombies from our vicinity, right? And this is why it's so quiet around here. <laughs> but it's not so quiet on the other side, so, so there's that. There is that. All right, uh, let's drop this bad boy in here. Got that baton, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna drop the... I'm just gonna drop the shotgun. And the shotgun shells in here for now. Actually, no, keep this on me. Not this one. Because I'm gonna need it for next time. Right? I'm gonna need it for next time. I just need... To to get the Molotovs going. Yeah, that's what we need. I'm gonna prepare now. Because otherwise, on Friday when I stream again, I will not remember what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh! There's a jet flying over. Yeah, there you go, zombies. Go follow it. You can draw hordes away uh, from your base with remote motion sensor. Noisemaker? Uh, I just, I prefer to kill stuff. Because stuff that you kill is not gonna come back to hurt you. Stuff that you pull away will definitely come back to hurt you. And I don't trust that, so, yeah. I do, I do prefer just killing stuff. Look, we have three propane tanks now, so we don't really need to worry too much about power going out because we can still cook. Yes, the perishables are gonna perish, but the rest of the stuff we can cook. Now, I do have a knife on me, right? Let's let's check this. Can I open? Yeah, I can't. I can't actually open this with a knife. I need a can opener. So there's a mod for that that you can open it, but uh, not in vanilla. Shame. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, we do have bourbon. Look at that, we have eight bourbon. You kidding me? We can, I'm gonna take like three. We can take like three Molotovs. We can make like three Molotovs. Uh, that's gonna be definitely good enough. Oh yeah, using a siren to pull them away. That's, that's fun, but why would I do all of this when I can burn them and kill them? Hmm? Right? Why, why would I do that? I need these socks. Take them away. Make three Molotovs, please. Alright, boys. That's gonna definitely remind me of <laughs> what we're doing next. I will definitely know. Molotovs and the shotgun in my main inventory. Yes. Yes. Oh, we have neighbors. I'm gonna take care of those neighbors before they start banging on my windows. I do like this place, by the way. Like, what we could do is... We could go and we could open this up so you can drive cars through here. And we could have, like, this backyard could be a place where you can just work on cars. 
right? And also a garden, and the zombies can't really get to you. I think that could be a long-term thing to do. Could be kind of fun. I also need, add, need to add more zombies to the pile. This guy wants to come to the pile. Come to the pile, my friend. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna use the shotgun. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was stupid. That stupid tree there. <laughs> Almost killed me. You can make a garden on a rooftop? Yeah, yeah, I could. I could. But I can also do it there. Because the soil is already there and... They, they can't get to me there. Right? They, they won't be able to get to me unless they go through my whole base. Which, to be honest, I will have a thing or two to say about that. Yes, uh, we could use the workshop mod for sure. That could be a thing as well. Alright, uh, what I'm gonna do now, uh, spend the rest of the day. We're gonna do some tailoring. And by do some tailoring, I mean I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some tailoring. I'm gonna read a tailoring book. Spend the night here. And then on Friday when I stream again, we're gonna go raid. We're gonna go raid that place. Let's go. Alright, well, you know what? Today, what, we survived to almost 15 days. When we wake up in the morning, it's gonna be 15 days. So, uh, we're on time. We're doing well. We're getting there. Uh, 700 zombie kills in 15 days is not much. There's a helicopter flying over. But, you know, it's, it's better than nothing. We've done some good stuff, and if you could get, if you could find some more ammo, we could do so much more. Now, we do have two guns that uh, use 308 ammo, and with that, we can do some very good, oh, I didn't want to pause. We can do some very good damage, because we have a lot of ammo for it. But it's a problem, because 308 is not a shotgun, which means we can only, like, shoot one zombie with it. Actually, I think some of them might be able to penetrate, so... Two zombies, but... Yeah. Alright, uh, let's go... What are we doing on water here? Still pretty decent. But this is... We're gonna use water here very fast if we just use this... Uh, pot to cook with. Didn't fill the water bottle fully. There you go, but I still wanna... I wanna cook the perishables, you know? Because we should have steak and stuff. I wanna, I wanna cook that steak stew, some lard as well. Yeah, add some corn as well. Steak and corn. Just use anything that's fresh. Use it fast. Use it quickly. Add milk as well. Jesus, that sounds so disgusting. <laughs> Corn, steak, and milk. And then some beer. Delicious. And tomato paste for spice. Amazing. Alright. Let's cook this. Jesse, let's cook. He's gonna go to bed late. He's not gonna be too happy about that. But look, sometimes a man's gotta do what a man does. I really need to clean his face as well. I already do. Oh, man. Alright, uh, while this cooks, I'm gonna read. Just use that time. And there you go. Alright, turn this off. Grab that. Like, we almost read the book. Not fully, but we can finish it next time. And now... Oh, shit, he needs to smoke as well. Let's have a smoke, buddy. Must smell really nice in here when he's smoking indoors. There we go. This is where I'm gonna say thank you, boys, for uh, chilling with me. It was fun. It was good. On Friday, we will continue onwards to glory, and we're gonna burn 
lots of zombies and definitely not burn the bookstore that uh, we want along the way. For sure. For sure not. Your character dies if you're very underweight or does it only affect your strength carry rate? Uh, yes, you can, you can die if you go way too low. You can die. Uh, but it takes a while, so, you know, you should be able to find food before that. There's plenty of food in this world. Anyway, thank you for being here, boys. I really, really appreciate you guys chilling with me. This was fun. Let's do this again on Friday. For now, take care, boys, and I'll see you.